guys welcome back to my channel I am Natalie Beal and I am very excited for today's video because it's gonna be a haul from my baby showers <music> If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me so you can follow me along as naturally this is going to be a very exciting period of my life. I was fortunate enough to have two different baby showers. My brother flew in from Boston with his boyfriend so I have one kind of with my side of the family and one with James's side of the family and we've been very blessed. So behind me I'm kind of in our bonus room right now. It's kind of we call it our sunroom. So I set this thing up that I got from Walmart to just store books and toys and things like that. That'll just be the bonus area that way our living room isn't cluttered although catch me in a year it's probably going to be cluttered. But I figured since this is where I'm storing everything for now, since the nursery isn't set up, I'm just going to show you guys everything that I got since it's already here and it's kind of out of sight, out of mind until I'm able to put it all in the nursery. Without further ado, let's get started. So please bear with me as I'm going through all of this. I can tell you right now that the pregnancy insomnia is real. And if I had a nickel for every time, or even, I mean, I'd, I'd take a dollar. <laughs> but every time someone's like, oh, you're not getting sleep now, just wait till the baby cubs. <sighs> really? I had no idea. <laughs> but anyway, so I tried to cover up as much as I could with concealer, but if you see any dark circles, you know why. All right, this is part of another. So my brother-in-law and future sister-in-law, sweeties, they got me this little bath set. So they got these bath toys that you can take apart and you can put in the dishwasher so they don't get moldy, which is disgusting. I have this love-hate relationship with rubber duckies. I feel like they're so traditional and I want rubber duckies, but if you ever look inside them after they've been in water, they get really moldy really quickly. So this would be perfect. I got the Munchkin. Ooh, gosh, I have to go. I have to put this down. I got the Munchkin. It's just a bath toy scooper. So it attaches to the tub, and then you're able to just pick it up out of the little hook thing that it has, scoop all the toys up, put it back up. That way they're able to dry. It's easier to get. And I figured it'd be easier to get all the water out and keep it in this rather than like a bucket under the sink. Next is this little Skip Hop waterfall bath rinser. It's a little whale, and I've seen a lot of YouTubers recommend this, so I'm really excited about it. So you kind of have this lip. Gosh, I'm out of breath already. What is wrong with me? You ha it has this lip, so you can put it on the baby's head, and it forms a little comb. So when you pour water on it, the idea is water won't go in their eyes. When I was younger, we had a pitcher. I'm sure you can just have a pitcher. But I remember constantly being like, <laughs> as, as I was being bathed. So I'm really excited about this product. Plus, it's just so cute. Next are these Honest. I got Honest shampoo and body wash and just lotion. I had these on my registry. I like them because they are fragrance free with your baby, very sensitive skin. And while the fragrances that they have in this brand and a lot of brands are amazing, I try to limit fragrances, at least when they're younger, for that sensitive skin. And what it came in, and they had a cute little gift wrap and a bow, is this elephant box. I have this on my registry. I'm gonna keep this on the dresser. I'm gonna use the dresser as a changing table. So here I'm just gonna put in you know, the diaper rash cream, everything, diapers, wipes, whatever I need. In addition to the changing table, just put that on top of the dresser. And so this will be really cute storage. And I just, I have a thing for elephants. Speaking of the changing table, I got this changing pad. It is a Serta. Let's see, it's a contour changing pad and it comes with a plush cover. So naturally, this is tiny. <laughs> this is not what a changing pad looks like. As soon as I open the box, similar to like one of those mattress sets, it'll expand, it'll pop up, and it has a little seat belt, everything, as you can see right here, with the plush cover, and that'll be great. I'll just pop that on the dresser, and that'll be my makeshift changing table. I have a really cute dresser coming in from Bye Bye Baby. I'll link it below, although I'll have a really hard time because it's sold out everywhere. Apparently, <laughs> it was the most popular one, which is why it's taking so long to come in. But to get the little changing top 
to put on top of the dresser and all it is is just a wooden square it was over a hundred dollars so no i'm not doing that <laughs> hence the box and just regular changing pad it'll be fine next i got the boppy it's the nursing pillow and i'm just really excited about this my sister-in-law and brother has it and they love it they swear by it they use it for all their kids so i'm really excited about it james when he was feeding liam um, our nephew he was using the boppy and he thought it was really comfortable and convenient so we're going to try to breastfeed pump do all those things so this will be great and it'll definitely help out and then got the cute little here let's see if i can pull it up a little more it's cute little whales <laughs> it's an organic fabric slip cover just to put on top that way if it gets dirty i can pop it in the wash and i'm not super crazy about keeping everything clean so this was a cute gift for my parents um, they also got us our stroller we got a gray coast stroller so i'm really excited about that Although that I already opened just to make sure that it worked. Next, I got the Diaper Genie in a cute little light blue color. I know, I tried to be very gender neutral because we're planning on having multiple kids. But at the same time, I feel like blue is blue. I don't know. I've always had a thing for baby blue. So we got the Diaper Genie in baby blue. It's the one where you just step on it and it opens. Um, I know there's some that you can pull and push, but figured the less hands we need to use, the better. <laughs> and James's uncle got us the refills. So this is a year supply. Hopefully it will be a true year supply, although you never know. So we are all set for that. That was one of the few things that James really wanted off the registry. He said, when we make a registry, I really want a diaper genie. So now he does not have an excuse to not change the diapers. <laughs> Next we have, oh, if I can get it over, it's quite heavy. We got, oh, I'll just, I'll pick it out from here. <laughs> from James's uncle and aunt, we got these cute little bandanas. Um, they're like little bib bandanas will be great for drool things like that that way you can keep the outfits clean if they have any spit up these are so much easier to wash and i'd rather have a bunch of these and wash these than clothes every time they spit up the other thing is she got us <clears throat> these long sleeve just white onesies and his aunt said that she used these for sleeping that was really convenient she found that it would make their babies like the perfect temperature so i'm really excited about these plus it's just i mean it's a basic staple item next we got this really cute elephant yeah <laughs> there's so not not a theme in the nursery but there seems to be like a theme of elephants and disney obviously so here we have this elephant teething toy it has different things it has a rattle and it's machine washable which is great i'm all about machine washable things next we got oh gosh this is so heavy we got um water wipes so these are the ones that i really wanted i wanted the least amount of ingredients as possible this is another thing that a lot of youtubers highly recommended i can see why because it's 99.9 percent .9 water and a drop of grapefruit extract and i would take that over artificial fragrances or anything any day so we got a total of 540 wipes We'll see how long this lasts us, but it's really heavy, so hopefully it lasts us a really long amount of time. So, with the wipes, we got this Oxotot wipes dispenser, perfect pull. Again, the least amount of hands we have to use, the better. Let me see if I can show you on the Genie. <laughs> that way y'all can see. So with one hand, you can just press it, it opens. And it has a cute little weighted plate. We got it in gray, although they have like pink, blue, teal. Um, we got it in gray. And you just put that weighted on the wipes because that way you're not pulling out a wipe and like five come out and it's just a waste. Because the amount of wipes we're going to use and how much everything costs, we're not wasting anything in this house. At least we'll try not to. The next thing, again, very like a lot of changing items which is great is a big thing of aquaphor this will be great it can you be used for diaper rash drool rash dry irritated skin minor cuts and scrapes so it seems kind of like an all-purpose thing it's just a healing ointment so we'll have this and we're really kind of all set in terms of the changing stations 
Next thing is a thing of draft stain remover for the laundry. And I already have a big thing of draft detergent, but this will be great because there are gonna be a lot of stains. I know that if you put certain things out into the sun, like say they stain their clothes, because you know why, if you put it out in the sun, a lot of times the sun bleach will take care of it. But still, it's always good to have a stain remover that's not super harsh, like a shower or something like that. And then they got this super cute, it's like a baby shark cube. If you press on it, it does the baby shark song. So that is really exciting. Um, I've been hearing a lot about this baby shark thing and everyone tells me that my life is just gonna revolve around baby shark and cocoa melon. So we'll see how that goes, I'll let you know. And then their gift basket that they used is super cute. It's just a basket that says toys. And of course this part comes out so I can always wash it. But it'll just be a great way to just store things and it's just super cute and neutral so I can pop it in the nursery, I can pop it in here, really anywhere, even in the living room. I wouldn't be mad if there are toys in this in the living room because at least it's kind of neat. So yeah, I thought that was a really cute thing that they added on. All right, now we're moving at things that I kind of put away and put up here. <laughs> so I'm going to be grabbing a couple things and bring them down and then I'll show them to you guys. Okay, that took a lot more effort than I thought it would, but got my morning exercise in. So first I wanna go over what my brother got. He got us some of these cute little Fisher Price toys, this kind of rocks ring. It's, you know, you put the things in the ring, it's very simple. And then these baby blocks. Again, trying to do as simple as possible. Um, less electronics, if you know, if we can. And also, these are just classics. Like, I feel like we all grew up with Fisher Price something. And I definitely remember growing up with these. So that's just exciting, you know, having it for me, having it for them. The other thing he got is this infant optics camera. It is just kind of a baby monitor. And I like it because there is no Wi Fi. Um, I'm like panting. I need to catch my breath. But a big thing I learned and just read from the internet is things that are not connected to Wi-Fi are better, especially cameras. I'm sure you heard about all these hackers hacking into kids' bedrooms through the Nest cameras. So anything that's open through Wi-Fi, it's always more vulnerable. And I just don't want some weirdo watching my kids sleep or watching me nurse in the nursery. It's just, let's just skip that whole part altogether. Of course, there's also some radiation that people consider. I actually don't really care <laughs> about that. Not care, but I mean, it really doesn't worry me that much. What worries me more is someone hacking into my camera. So I'm excited about this. And this is where kind of the feed goes to. It has video playback, active noise reduction, interchangeable lenses. So this will be really useful for a long, long time. Next, my sweet friends got us the Hatch. It is a nightlight kind of sound machine all in one. I really like it. It has this soft light. I don't know if you can see here. So it can be different colors. Um, and it's just nice because if we need a night light, it's useful. I don't want to have to turn on the bright light every time I have to walk into the nursery. That's not really conducive for a good night of sleep. Not that we're really going to get any. But the other thing that I found really interesting is it has the time to rise. James and I babysat for our neighbors and they had this feature. So say it's, you know, you want your time to rise to be 6.30. Like, don't wake me up before 6.30. So the nightlight can be red before it's time. And once it's time for them to get up and out of their bed, it'll turn to a different color. So they kind of know, too, of what's an appropriate time to wake us up. <laughs> Of course, that'll be more useful later down the road, but still, if I can purchase something that's useful now and later, I'm absolutely gonna do that rather than buy multiple things. Next is the Baby Bjorn Carrier. We got this, this is the Baby Bjorn, it's the mini. We got it in just kind of a dark gray. This is something that my mother-in-law recommended. She said that she used it with her kids and absolutely loved it. So it's machine washable, all the things you want because I'm sure everything is going to get gross. Um, but this is just gonna be really nice, something James and I can both use. Lord help me, James is already talking about bringing Cooper to a South Carolina football game. He really wants to bring him to the South Carolina USC versus Clemson. And Cooper's not even gonna be two months old yet. Well, depending on when he comes, but if he comes, you know, 40, 41, 42 weeks, he's not giving me two months old, but he's like, well, with a baby Bjorn, I can carry him. <laughs> we'll see. Next, my brother's boyfriend got us this tummy time mat. Um, it's by Sess. 
so yes. And it's funny because the box came, and it you can kind of see it from the bottom more, it just came open and just looked weird. So I thought they gave us a used box, like something that someone returned. I asked for a new one just because, you know, we're, we're buying a brand new thing, I want a brand new thing. And I'm, I thought they sent me the same thing because the box came back the same. The closest Bye Bye Baby is three and a half hours. So when I was at my mother-in-law's house, I went to Bye Bye Baby and he said, I'll just buy it in person and then return what I have. And they're all like that. So if you order it, just know there should be, there's tape here, but they're pretty much all busted open. I guess it's just, you know, the box is too small for the product. I don't know. But let me show y'all. So it has all these like milestones in terms of months which are really cool and they have different activities depending on the month so for example like month five they have a mirror and all these different stations so it kind of grows with them and Gianna said my mother-in-law that like, kind of black and white is the best because it's the highest contrast so if you can get anything black and white especially when they're younger that's kind of best for their development so that is that Next is this skip hop mirror for the car. As you know, kids sit reverse rear facing, gosh, not reverse facing, rear facing. So you put this on the top of the seat, the headrest, and you're able to see everything that's going on while you're driving. It's safer that way you're not constantly turning around, worrying that you can't see your kid. And uh, Frida Baby. I actually, I need something else from Frida Baby, so I need to buy that. I wanna get the Frida Baby, what's it called? Or I think it's Frida Mom, the, the Perry bottle. But this is just the overall Frida Baby kit, Baby Basics kit. And it has the Frida Nose Snot Snucker, Snot Sucker, <laughs> there it is. Um, and this has been very controversial. You can kind of see it here. That's kind of what you put up their nose. You suck it, of course, it's a filter so nothing goes in your mouth. Um, but that's been getting a lot of interest on the internet. Then you just have the gas passer, the snail, I cannot speak today, not the snail clipper, the snipper clipper kit. Um, and that has a file and just a nail clipper. That way we can keep those down. And then the Derma Frida, the skin soother. So that kind of helps with flakes and cradle cap on their head. So all things that we need and it's perfect. Got it in a kit. So I'm really excited. I heard that that's a really, really good brand. So I'm happy about it. Next, we got these two different crib sheets. I already have one. I have a Burt's Bees Hello Moon. Um, and then these, of course, as you can sense, there is a theme. So this is just really cute with Mickey and Blue that his grandma got us, which is really sweet. And then we have this Disney baby. It's very patriotic in my opinion, but it has like stars and then they have little Mickeys. So that's really cute. It's just kind of a subtle nod to Disney. With the amount of Disney things we're putting around this baby, if he grows up to be a universal kid, I don't know what we did wrong. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> Next, we have just these Gerber cloth diapers. Really simple. It comes in a pack of 10. Super cheap. This is something that my mother-in-law recommended because she said, listen, you're just going to need stuff if you want to wipe spit up, if you want to do this. You're going to want to have basically rags everywhere around the house. You don't want to run out. These you won't feel bad about. You can always bleach them too. So I got a pack of these. So this will be great just to have around in case. Because, you know, there are all these cute burp cloths. Like they have the Burt's Bees. They have this. And they're all so cute with such a nice pattern. But if they get ruined, then you kind of feel bad. Whereas if these get ruined, I mean, yeah. First of all, they, they really can't because they're white and you can bleach them. But you just don't really feel bad for using them for spit up or things that come out the other end. Next, speaking of, speaking of the other end, we have these waterproof liners that we got from James's uncle and aunt. They're just something to put on, what you can see here, the changing pad. So we're gonna have the changing pad, the changing pad cover on top. And this is just nice because if anything does get on it, we can just change these out, which are really easy, just a, basically a sheet, rather than changing the pad every time something happens. And again, I mean, these are waterproof pads. We can use them for so many different things. I can even put them in the stroller underneath. That way, if they have an accident, it doesn't get all over the stroller. So these will be in use. Okay, next, speaking of changing stuff, I thought we were done, we're not. We have butt paste. And from what Susan Yara said is you actually need a lot. Um, I typically try to be conservative with products, so I'm glad that I listened to her because I probably would have put a little bit, no, she said you've got to 
got to smear that sucker on. So this will be good. The more we have, the better. And these are great sizes because you can just pop that in a diaper bag or to-go bag. And it's not like a huge big thing that's taking up that much space. Next for bath time, we got, oh, this actually goes with the other, the big thing that went in the gray basket. But we got these washcloths and they're really cute. They have little sharks and everything on them. It's a pack of eight, so that will be really useful. And then we also got these Burt's Bee Babies, um, very gender neutral, and they're just kind of yellow with some ducks that my sweet friend Allie gave us. Um, so they will be all set for bath time. Next, we got a couple of books. <laughs> this is so sweet, If Animals Kiss Goodnight. And it's just so like, they're all, I mean, all children's books are wholesome because what are they gonna read? Like a Russian novel where everyone dies? No, actually, well, some kids do if you're Russian. Um, but these are actually what you want to read to children, hello. And um, so this is just be nice and wholesome and very sweet. Then his, um, I don't even know what we call it, um, but his mom's cousin, <laughs> James's mom's cousin, she got us this cute little book it's one of those memory books that we can put together. I am determined to actually fill this out. So here we just have, you know, who it is, the day mommy knew she was pregnant, how she told daddy, things about that, one month old. So different milestones and it's just really cute. And it's just something that they can, they can have and keep. I don't know, it'll just be nice to have memories. I'll probably read this when they grow up and I'll cry over it. <laughs> so, that's really sweet. Next is we have the Baby Buddy Secure toy. I actually saw this at Bye Bye Baby when I was going with my mother-in-law and we just thought that was really smart. You just pop it, you know, pop a toy on there if you wanna put it on a stroller, put it on whatever. That way they're not dropping the toy every two seconds. It's getting gross, you have to pick it up, they drop it again, it gets sad. You know, it's like an end of the cycle with kids. So that will save me a lot of time and heartache for something like $2 or $3 worth it. Then we also got these little no scratch mittens. I'm gonna drop them. Um, no scratch mittens, they come in a pack of two. One is blue with white, one is white with blue, and we got two of them. So we got four little no scratch mittens. Again, machine washable, things are really easy. So I'm excited for this because a lot of the onesies that we have, you can get the onesies with the fold over cuffs. We don't have that with all of ours, so this will just be good because if you have them in something that doesn't have a fold over cuff, you don't have to worry about them scratching themselves when their nails are really sharp. Next, we got two little sleep slack, sleep sack swaddles, my gosh. <laughs> so this one is just blue, it's newborn, so it's a swaddle as well, which is really nice. And then we got one in a bigger size, and it's not a swaddle. It has their arms free, but it's still a sleep sack. So we have kind of one of each, different sizes. So hopefully if they like it, then we can always buy more because we don't want any blankets or anything in the crib. It increases the risk of sits. So if we can have a sleep sack, we don't have to worry about it. And it just kind of gets them in a nice little routine. Next, we have swaddles. So his grandma gave us these little... <laughs> like little Disney swaddles from Adam and A, Adam and A, Adam and A, Adam and A, Adam and A? <laughs> I don't know, that's like a tongue twister, come on guys, not my fault, um, but this is muslin, they're super cute, has Mickey's all over it, um, it has Donald Duck, James's favorite, so this would be good, you can use it for swaddle, tummy time, stroller cover, burp cloth, nursing cover, changing table cover, you get the gist, these are just all in ones, really cute, so I'm excited about that. Next, my future sister-in-law's mom got us this cute little swaddle blanket from Copper Pearl. It has the sloths on it. I don't know if you can see. This is the print Noah, and I just, I really liked it. Again, it's gender neutral, but it's also just so cute. How cute are sloths? And then, along that theme, my sweet friend Hannah, she got us these little bibs. Again, bibs are super useful, and it has the, the Noah print on it with the little sloths. <laughs> And it comes with just other prints too. Again, very gender neutral. Um, so that will be something that we can use in the future as well. That's one thing Madison Miller really likes, Copper Pearl, the brand, and she just likes the feel of it. She feels like it's really good quality. So I'm excited to try these products, especially since I want everything to last. 
Then we got another little Disney bib. So cute. It says, I'm awesome. Oh, how cute. Um, any Disney thing is always a win in our book. So we're really excited for that. Then we just got a bunch of different socks. So these are the socks that we registered for. Just super simple, organic cotton socks. Very gender neutral. And then we got more socks. <laughs> like obsessed with socks. So these are so cute. We have elephant and what's the other one? A lion and the back is an alligator and a rhino. Um, just so, so freaking cute. Why is everything so small and adorable? Then we got even more things um, from Carter's and it's little dinosaurs. How adorable is that? And you know what? Girls can use dinosaurs too. If we have a girl in the future, that's one thing that really annoyed me. Grind my gears when we're looking at baby clothes because girls are like princess, ballerina, everything's pink and fluffy and boys are all dinosaurs or aquatic animals or nautical animals. You know, you know what I mean? Like a whale is only for a boy. And I just thought that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I mean, what girls can't be into dinosaurs, boys can't like dancing. I mean, that's just the most ridiculous thing ever. So anyway, <sighs> rant over any Anything that we have in the future, regardless if it's a boy or a girl, we'll be using this stuff. So we have um, more stuff from his aunt uncle that came in the gray basket. Wow, I did not do a good job of consolidating everything they gave. <clears throat> so this is really cute. So it has a little football hat and socks outfit. And it comes with a onesie that says, what does it say? Daddy's first, daddy's first round draft pick okay there it is so cute and uncle rick knows him really well because these are packers colors james's favorite team so that'll be perfect for football season we all know he's going to be on the couch with james watching football they got little mama's little man it's a um a raid done outfit comes with this cute little sleeper hat and these cute little pants with arrows on them so just uh, everything's so cute. Why why are baby clothes so cute? That's how they that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Next, James's dad and set mom got some cute little Mandalorian onesies. Again, Disney. James is a huge Star Wars fan. All his brothers are. So we have some Baby Yoda or Grogu, should I say? Onesies. They got these from the Gap. Perfect duo with the Mandalorian and Grogu. How cute. And then just another one with the Mandalorian and Grogu in his little carrier. Then on the Disney theme, we got a bunch of little baby baby Mickey outfits. And this is just so cute. It's Mickey. It says happy. Comes with a little hat. Uh, hello. And then just a pair of sweatpants. So it's just a cute little Disney outfit. I really want to go to Disney um, with Cooper once he's younger. I think that would just be really nice, um, but everything's so crazy right now. We have no idea if we're going to be able to go. I'd like to go before he's one, obviously when he's a little older, but um, before he's one, I feel like it would be just like a really nice little cute age. And we kind of voluntold. <laughs> James's mom asked her if she would come with us. That way she can help us with Cooper while we're all there. And it would just be kind of a really nice trip. Then we got this really cute, I'll show you the print up close, Mickey onesie. How adorable is that? And that is in the size six to nine months. So I have to say everyone did really well. I've heard horror stories about how people get like newborn everything and we haven't gotten one like newborn size anything. Um, so that's been awesome. So we definitely got kind of diverse size range which is really nice. Again, I mean, most of the people there already had kids, so they kind of know what's up. Um, but even my friends, they were just so sweet and so thoughtful. So y'all did good. Then my friend Allie, um, well, yes, we both really, really love Disney. Um, also a huge Harry Potter fan. So she got us these cute little onesies, mischief managed. James read it out at the baby sh shower and said mischief manager so we'll have to rewatch those with him. Then we have Dumbledore's army. How adorable is that? And then we just have I'm a keeper. I mean, come on. That's so cute. So I thought that was so thoughtful. I didn't even think about any Harry Potter things. And of course, she knows me very, very well. So that was perfect because I know I'm going to have Harry Potter marathons and I can have them all dressed up with me. 
Then she also got this really cute outfit, three to six months. It's a cute little <laughs> church outfit or whatever we want. Has little suspenders, a cute little bow tie. Let me try to, yeah, there we go. Yeah, cute little bow tie and such a cute outfit. And we realized she was actually wearing blue on top and pink on the bottom during the baby shower. So subconsciously, <laughs> she dressed to prepare for it. So just so cute. And then my other friends got us this cute little, has like a dinosaur top shirt. And then these cute little green shorts, which will be perfect. And just again, such a cute outfit that you can wear really anywhere probably to church. Again, when they're younger, they're usually in onesies anyway. But... It'll be nice to kind of dress them up every now and then if it's a special occasion, going to church, going out somewhere. It'll just be nice to, you know, just have like one or two outfits that are actually cute and not just onesies. The next thing James's dad and stepmom got us, oh my gosh, let's get all this stuff. So their whole family, huge Red Sox fans, huge Red Sox fans. His family is from Maine. So everyone roots for the Red Sox, loves the Red Sox. That's kind of, I was told that's the only non-negotiable sports team that they have to follow is the Red Sox. They don't care about football, basketball, everything else, whatever. But the Red Sox are where it's at. So we got a lot of stuff. We got this cute little 47 hat. Um, and it has a little elastic at the back. How cute is that? So we got Boston Red Sox here. Y'all y'all are gonna see how much Red Sox up. He's he's all set, like he's set for life here. And then we have this cute little Red Sox shirt. It's in a good size too. Yeah, 24 months. Red Sox shirt that comes with these Red Sox shorts. So cute. And then we have <laughs> a Red Sox footed onesie. Boston Red Sox, very cute. Then we have the green monster, um, you know, the, the part in Red Sox, also their mascot. Just green monster with the Red Sox logo. And then lastly is this cute little Red Sox onesie. This is so cute. I think this is my favorite out of the whole collection. Um, just an adorable onesie. And this is in the size zero to three months. So it's something that they can wear early on. So basically like every size there is, we have something Red Sox for him. So they really, they outdid themselves on the Red Sox. He's all set. Another thing his grandma got us are these Disney Mickey onesies that are so cute. This one's just here we go. This is in a size zero to three months. And then behind here we have just this Mickey print. Very cute. And this will be perfect. Again, we also live in the South, so these are gonna be great. I don't care that he's coming in fall. If you've been in the south in the fall, it can still be blistering hot in October, November. Then we have, oh, so cute. We got these footed onesies. These are really great. Um, I heard like the zip up onesies are some of the best you can use because they're just really easy. Zip them up, zip them off, boom, done. So these have little trucks on them, like bulldozer. Uh, I see a concrete truck. Um, just really cute stuff. And then we have a dinosaur zip-up onesie. How adorable is that? And this is in the size six months. And it's a two-way zipper. <laughs> so yeah. And then James's grandma, um, his other grandma, gave us these cute little, this is a little sleep gown, which is really convenient for changing them in the middle of the night with a little cap. All her outfits came with caps. And then a cute little dog footed onesie. So cute. And then that has a little cap as well. So just really cute outfits. And it's funny because we did not register for any baby clothes. We kind of were in, running under the assumption that we would get some anyway. We also got a lot from our Once Upon a Child haul. That'll probably be another video. But the clothes that everyone got, I mean, they're just, they're all so cute. Like, there are no clothes that we're like, oh, we wouldn't have picked that ourselves. Like, everything we would have bought ourselves. So I'm really glad that we didn't have to. So, that's great. And then, James's other grandma who lives in New Jersey and Maine, um, again, the Beale side with Red Sox, Maine, she got us different lobster type things, so that's so cute. So she got this cute little bib um, that's just so adorable. And again, it just kind of pays homage to his family and where he's from. 
we like to go up to Maine every now and then. Here is a sweater. It's like a good knit sweater that has a lobster on it with a cute little hat. So come winters, he'll be all set. And then we have another sleep gown. And on here, on the little, yeah, the little buttons, they have lobsters with a little hat that has a lobster on it. So, it's just so cute. We're joking that he's subconsciously gonna love lobsters. Like, it's gonna be his favorite animal. He'll be like, I don't know why. It's because he's <laughs> dressed in all lobster clothes. Next, we have things I almost forgot. <laughs> I had to pull them off our little thing that we got. My sweet friend Hannah, she got us this changing pad cover. Um, it's just honest, 100% organic cotton. This is gonna be great. It's also dark, which is gonna be great, but still we're gonna have these waterproof liners on top when we're changing him, but just in case, an added layer of protection that you can never get enough of. Next, we have the Frida Baby thermometer. I'm really excited about this. Again, I'm like obsessed with this brand. I want everything from this brand. So I got the thermometer, it comes with a carrying case, so that'll be good, just so we can have it and be safe because we have a thermometer now. Not only is it old, but you know, you just want to be sure that things are precise when it's a kid. If it's us and it's a couple degrees off, who really cares? <laughs> we got these newbie ice rings. You can pop them in the freezer. So when they're teething, this will be really great. Just kind of soothes their gums when they're teething. Also bright colors. You can never go wrong with bright colors. Next we have Peekaboo Forest. And it's just, it has like all that crinkly sound. I love that sound. And just little animals pop up. Really cute. So that'll be something that he can play with and read at the same time. Next, this is what came in the shipment. They're nursing pads. But actually what was purchased and what's on the receipt are breast milk bags. So I'll have to go and exchange this for what was actually ordered. <laughs> um, but this is what came in. But I got the same brand. I land Lansano. I'll let y'all read that because I have no idea. Lansano. Um, so I got the breast milk bags and they came with nursing pads instead, even though that's not what she ordered. But we will exchange this out and get the right thing. But those are what I got. And I think that is the last of it. I cannot wait for the nursery furniture to come in. That's something that James's mom gifted us. Um, we ordered it back in April, April 4th, and it is now end of July. Still haven't received it from Bye Bye Baby. But when we do, I'm gonna be full mode to get all the stuff in there, get it washed. A good thing we bought a big thing of Jeff because everything is gonna get washed, um, put everything away, get everything ready because I have less than 10 weeks left, which is crazy to me because I found out so early. I found out when I was two weeks, two days. So I kept being like, oh, I have plenty of time. I have plenty of time. And now here we are, like, <laughs> Any day now, not any day, but I mean, realistically, less than 10 weeks isn't that long of an amount of time. That's the end of my baby shower haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Once I get all the nursery stuff in, I will do a little nursery tour for you guys. I'm kind of in full frenzy nesting mode right now, so the sooner I can get that stuff in, the better. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Bye.